are you newly admitted into any of our university i say congratulations for your admission this year it's a great fight you know that really shows that uh, your your hard work your sleepless nights has truly paid off now as you have started your four or five years journey in the university these are the few things i want you to know about these are some of those things that people like us we are not able to get to know about and that really cost us a lot in our first year in the university now i want you to know more about the university grading system and you are going to find it a delight and it's going to guide you if you are the academic type like me who truly wants to come out with the very best if you truly want to come out with a first class or a two one then you need to stick around to the end of this video i am andy and this is neutral mad martin's video now as a, a university student you need to know that you have two semesters in your university the first semester is the hammer time semester and these are the semester you will see first as you are entering the school that is of course the first semester and the later semester is the rain semester which is more of the second semester and more of your courses in the school will be tagged depending on the semester you find yourself now the grading system in the university is just same like the grading system in uh, in uh, in your secondary school in the university we have the a we have the b we have the c we have the d we have the e and we have the word f the f is zero the e is one the d is two the c is three the b is four and the A is what is five now in each of these these are what we call your what your grades in the university these are the grade that you'll be meeting up in the university and each course you'll be offering will have what what we call the units a unit will be given to each of the course you'll be offering we have one unit course we might have two unit course and we might have a maximum of three units or at times in some schools you see a four unit course but this is more like a maximum so these are the units that are attached to each course you'll be offering in the university so I want you to be very aware of that don't be a novice now this unit and your grade is what is required to calculate your total grade points now let me show you how to go about that let's assume you have your subjects or the courses we call them courses in the university we have the courses you have the units for the courses you have the grade you have your total your total what your total grade point and we'll have finally we're going to have your cumulative word grade word point now how do we calculate this now let's assume that we have five course mass 101 this is the mass you'll be meeting wherever you find yourself in the university PhD 101 you have your chem 101 you won't run away from these courses and you have your GSC GSC 101 and let's say you have your what you have your by what your by 101 these are assuming these are five courses and these courses are what are all three three unit what three three unit this is a two unit course and this is a three unit what course these are the units that have been given to each of these courses now, now let's assume that a student in his first term got an A in what got an A in this in this he got an A which is what he got an A here he got a B and here he got a C and in this end he got a D and here he got a what he got uh, let's say he got a C now 
throughout your educational system, your academic system in, in, year, in school, throughout your years in school, you will be required, you will be encouraged to always make sure you don't have less than a B in any course. Do you know why? Because it's going to affect your grade point. Now, look at what will happen to the, this person who scored a C in this two unit course, especially for a higher unit what, course. Now, for this man who got an A in Math 101, the unit, the grade point for A is what? Five. So, five times three will give him a total what? Grade unit of what? Of 15. Now, look at that. Now, this is three units and he's called a B. Four times three will give him a what? Will give him 12. This is a C and he's called, this is a three unit course and he's called a C. Three times three will give him what? A nine. Now, this is a three unit course, two unit course and he's called a C. Three times two will give you what? Will give you six. Now, this is a three unit score and he got a D. 3 times 2 will give you what? Will give you what? 6. Now if you calculate the total the total point, if you calculate the total grade point he got, if you calculate this, you are going to have what? 15 plus this will give you 27. 27. 27. This plus this will give you what? 12. 12 plus 12 will give you 24. 24. 15 plus 24 will give you what? 39. 39 plus 9 will give you what? That will give you 40 watts. That will give you 40 watts, 48. Now you see that your total grade point is what? Is 48. Now we want to calculate the total unit you have. What is the total unit you are taking for that year? This is 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You are having what? You are having 14 units. Let's assume these are just the only course you're taking for your first semester. So you're taking one, two, three, four, five courses for your first semester. And the total unit for that year is what? Is 14. So all you need to do, after gotten all your grade, and your total grade point is what? 48. So how do you calculate your cumulative point? Now your cumulative point is going to be what your cumulative point is going to be what this 48 divided by what 48 divided by 14 okay, so 48 divided by 14 is going to give us uh, three points 14 times 2 give us 28 that will give you a three point a three point four two so you see that is going to be what your what what your cumulative GPA will be like for your what for your first what for your first term. So you see why it is for your first semester. So you see why it is very important that during your first semester in school, it is very, very important that you should target all your three unit calls, A, A, or latest, lowest, A, B, in any of your three unit calls. You know why? It's going to boost your CGPA. And once your CGPA has gotten to a higher point, that is the point of a first passer, then you can continue maintaining it all through your years in school. Now, do you want to learn how to make up your first class, how to get out, come up with a first class or a second class in school? This is just what you need. Now, stick around as I will show you the degree classification of all the class. Some the who got a 3.42 in which degree category will he belong to don't go around don't go away stick around i will be right back to tell you that Welcome back. Now, if you look at the board, the screen, you're going to see the degree classifications of uh, every degree university student. The first class is 4.5 to 5.00. Second class upper is 3.50 to 4.49. And second class lower is 2.40 to 3.49. 
pass is 1.50 to 2.39 pass is 1.00 to 4.49 and fill is 0.00 to 0.99 if i ask you which of these degree do you want to graduate with now that you are newly entering into university many people want to say first class this is two one yes it is right but i want to tell you the rule of thumb the rule of thumb is if you want to make a first class or a two one in in your university as you journey through your four or five years in the university don't joke with your first and second year that is a rule of thumb you can play around after your first second year when you must have consolidated your cgpa now from the calculator calculation we did earlier on the cgpa of this student after the first semester having taken five subjects is what three point what four two now I'm asking you which category do you think this guy has fallen into now if you check properly you come to find out that this guy has fallen into what has fallen into the category of what of a second class lower this simply means now that he needs to work extra hard during his second semester during the second semester first year and his second year in order to either find himself here or what or here now do you realize what i mean that you don't have to joke with your first semester in the university you are so fortunate to be taught this when we were like you we weren't taught this we are more like a novice but then we get to get ourselves back on the long run so this is the grading system in the university as you enter into the university i want you to work hard during your first year second year and make sure that you come out with the very best grade those who sponsored you into the university can be very proud of this is all i can bring to you as regard the grading system in the university and i say thank you so much for watching don't go away hit the subscribe button of this channel as we'll be bringing you mathematics topics on your math 101 and math 102 this is all done to give you an easy takeoff into your courses in the university you love this video share it with your friends and let them get to know all the things you've come to see from this video thanks so much for watching and look forward to seeing you in my next video